Seriousness in children should be left at the door. Very little of what our hosts are about to say is factual, but will be crass. This is Till Death Do Us Nart. Welcome back to Till Death Do Us Nart. It's a it's a character analysis and lifestyle podcast. Uh, this week we're talking about Misunade. Misunade. Everyone's favorite aunt. This will conclude uh, our three um, uh, legendary Sanin uh, episodes. Um, of course, uh, because it is our third one, and we started off with a big three. Uh, and uh, we're we're gonna be uh, telling some true facts about um, uh, the woman who invented medicine, Tsunade, whatever the fuck her last name is. She has a last name, right? Um, Tsunade Senju. Her name, her full name is Tsunade Senju. Senju. Well, that's right. It is Senju. That's right because she is related to the first Hokage. Now is it the first one we don't like? Or yeah. Is it- <laughs> Um, it is the second one, the second Hokage, and the third Hokage. The second Hokage kind of blows. The third Hokage kind of blows. Tsunade's the fourth Hokage, right? So she's okay. No, she's the fifth Hokage. The fourth Hokage is Naruto's dad. Right, okay, so the fourth Hokage really yeah, the fourth, blows. No, no, the fourth Hokage was not that bad. The fourth Hokage is the awful old man okay, who, no? like, just kind of, I mean, okay, he's no. fine. We're going he's... to get so many people on yes. Twitter about this. The third Hokage is the oh, I know. old man. The fourth Hokage is Naruto's death. Oh, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Sarah, everyone knows Naruto's dad isn't important. <laughs> I, keep, I keep forgetting that Naruto was related to a Hokage. Yeah, no, that's the whole thing. <laughs> so he's, No, uh, he's related to two because he's also related to Tsunade. Yeah. Tsunade is his cousin. Wait, really? We haven't watched Naruto yeah. in well over a year and a half. <laughs> Yeah, like a Tsunade is. <laughs> yeah, no, I did remember that. <laughs> okay, anyway. We gotta edit this shit out. <laughs> no, I, I feel like this is all really relevant because um, we're talking about Tsunade this week, and I think we need to, of course, do our, our usual, yeah. where um, now that we're done workshopping and establishing who Tsunade mm-hmm. is, we all go through and um, state a fact we know about Tsunade. That's right. You know, very, mm-hmm. very important. And uh, I think Alyssa should start. (laughs) As usual. (laughs) Yeah. I think that's going to start becoming a tradition here. Oh, well. We force Alyssa to start. Uh, um, I actually have a very good one this week for her, though. Uh, I really like her snails. They are slugs. slugs. (laughs) They're little slugs. They're They're slugs? slugs. They don't have shells. Yeah, snails have shells. Snails. If they're snails, they're naked. Oh. Yeah, they're naked. You they're know very what? cute. I'm not gonna judge them. No, that they're very cute, and I love them. What's your slug's name? I can't. It oh has a God. name. I got a, um, Is it Katsuyu? I think yes! it's Katsuyu. Yeah. Let me let me look that up because if we get that wrong, I think it is. Here's the thing. I'll condone myself forgetting that Naruto's dad ever had political power, but I will not let myself forget the slug's name. Oh, yeah, no, by God, do not fucking dare forget that. Um, I swear, Alina. Katsuyu, yep, okay, we're good. Katsuyu, cute. I can't believe I thought that she was a snail. No, she's a slug. That's okay, though. Uh, the snails and slugs are really fucking cool. They are. They're gastropods. Yeah, uh, they're gastropods. Damn. It, you know, I think this is going to be another one of those episodes that we have a hard time making funny because 
Tsunade is actually legitimately really cool and I love her. Just like last time, we were like, just really had to <laughs> fucking step all over Jiraiya. Um, this, we just, we like Tsunade too much and that, <laughs> that's our flaws as content creators. <laughs> Yeah, is that, oh god, we, we like Tsunade too much. I know, we're like, oh man, I don't want to be mean to her. She'll come and beat me up. <laughs> She'll come and beat me up. And also, I don't want to be mean to her. She deserves better than that. She's really cool. Can I give a second fact about Tsunade? Yes. Yeah. She's absolutely perfect, and I love her. Yes. And that mm -hmm. is a fact. That is a fact. She's perfect, um, and I love her. Yeah, she is perfect, and I do love her. Um... Sonata did nothing wrong. Sonata's never done anything wrong in her life, ever. <laughs> I, I, honest to God, if somebody ever tried to tell me she did something wrong, I think I might lose my mind because I don't think she's done anything <laughs> wrong. I'm dead serious. Like, she's never done a single goddamn thing wrong. In the vast collection of things done wrong by adults in Uruto, I feel like she's probably done the least. Um... Yeah, I mean, like, she didn't leave orphans unattended. She On purpose. On orphans. purpose, she didn't. I don't think, like, well, no, because there was an orphan that she was friends with, and then he died? Okay, which orphan? You gotta tell me which orphan. Okay, there was, like... Describe the scene to me. Okay. Tsunade, she looks at Naruto, and then Naruto does that thing, the show, not the character, where, like, they superimpose that little child over Naruto, because, like... Hey, <laughs> Alina, I have great news. That wasn't a fucking orphan. That was her younger brother. <laughs> you you forgot she had a fucking brother and was like, yeah, you know, just a random orphan. I don't know how she knew him. <laughs> Here's the thing. It's Naruto. I see a child. I assume it is parentless. Um, yeah, um... That's absolutely a fair assumption. Every child in Naruto is There is no way. adult supervision in that show whatsoever. Kakashi does not count. Kakashi doesn't Kakashi count. Kakashi is also an orphan, so... <laughs> Kakashi exactly. does not count because he is not responsible. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, no. He's not responsible. So, but circling back around to um, the issue of slugs. So we all know... The slug has the slug has pe healing power, right? Yeah, she has um healing power. Well, actually, a uh, cool fun fact, uh, because we're actually just listing cool facts about Tsunade. Uh, Katsuyu in the Japanese version uh is genderless, and they go by they them. But um in the English dub, they did shift their pronouns to she her. But um I think using either one is okay because slugs are fine and they don't really have a construct of gender. But um you know uh can you imagine if they did? What would what would be the fucking oh, slug gender is the most complicated subject in entomology that people entomologists still <laughs> the most uh, the most he hotly debated topic slug gender um, slug gender that's why Tsunade kind of only tends to summon one slug because the slug gender discourse has gotten so bad that they're all just really oh really God. busy and she can only summon one Katsuyu is the only one who doesn't care yeah Katsuyu is the only chill slug um the rest of them will start fighting each other. Oh, yeah. Like, um, they all have, like, kin discourse at yeah. this point. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. I, I Let's can't get to use, like, kin discourse. Um, I can't continue down this joke. We can't bad. keep talking about um, kinnies or we're going to have to cancel the podcast. Um, I would even say cut this part out, but we'll see what's... We'll see yeah, what's we may. <laughs> um, um, now... You think the goo's got anything to do with the healing powers? I think the goo has everything to do with the healing powers. I think. So, when we're looking at the science of slug goo. Now, the science of slug goo. Now, it's a known fact that in the human world, which is different than the Naruto world, the human world, the one that we live in. <laughs> yes. Um, like, face masks and cosmetics contain snail goo but my question to you both is why not slug goo hey alina i have a okay <gasps> did you just imply maybe i was like spaced out for a second there but did you just imply that face masks in the real world are made out of snail goo <laughs> <laughs> now that's not even a joke that is fact look it up um wait okay. i am i'm going to have a fucking panic attack <laughs> 
It's it's snail secretions. Now, not all of them, but it is an ingredient in several of them. You know, I kind of believe it. And I, I actually kind of like that because I finally get to feel the gentle smoothness of a snail. Now, I'm, I'm going to say something controversial. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. what if, Wait, don't. <laughs> what if... No, go ahead. No, never mind. I just, go, go what ahead. if they are snails and Tsunade just makes them be naked? That is cruelty. I, I think <laughs> that's animal cruelty, and I refuse to believe that our, our Lord and Savior, our Lord Hokage and Savior Tsunade, would never Tsunade would in never. her life Absolutely fucking subject not. a snail to public indecency. Yeah, no, she would never do that to us. She would never betray her fans. <laughs> The, her fans, the three people in this fucking podcasting room. Yeah. Um, her fans, us three, and the slugs. And the slugs. Oh my god, the slugs are all her biggest fans. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um. We, wait, we are the slugs. I would love to Oh my god, we are the slugs. slugs. I will make a slug sauna for this. Um, oh, I already have, hey, great news, everybody. I already have one. <gasps> What? Yeah, Alina's. I have one. It's it's a little sea slug that I made that I drew. Now, Alina, I don't want to call you out or anything, but like, isn't that technically your fursana? Yeah, yeah your fursana is a slug. I think it's really cute. Yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to admit it. Yeah, I'm so glad. Wait, it's my slime sauna, oh, baby. No. What have I un- What have I done? Yeah, no. It's um, my slime sauna. Her fursana is a slug and. It actually makes me really yeah. happy. It suits her so much. Yeah, she hey, doesn't have a name hey, yet, but... Uh... Sorry. Hey, I think we need to make something clear here. Yeah. Slugs don't have fur. Yeah, but, like... Not yet. I think if you make, then like... they're not fur sonas. Okay, well... It's, the, it's, an, animal. it's an animal. Same it's thing. It's a slug sauna. It is a slug sauna. Yeah, it's a slug sauna. It's a, it's a slime sauna. But it's, under the, but it's under the larger umbrella of... um. Of fursonas. Now, my question to you is: Tsunade's fursona also a slug? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's really cute. Okay, that's adorable. She really. Here's the thing. I feel like she really likes slugs. Like, okay, one of my aunts growing up. Uh, she's a delightful lady, and of course, she's still in my life. Uh, I don't mean to phrase that like she's not around anymore. She is. Um. So when I was younger, uh, she collected pig statues. And so when you went around her house, there were just little pigs everywhere, absolutely fucking everywhere. <gasps> and um, one of her bathrooms was like covered in like really cute little pig statues. And it was like one of my favorite rooms in the house because I love the pigs. And she's like, Tsunami also has like a cute little pig that follows her around. I, I was about to say, we're fucking fools. We forgot about Tauntaun. Forgot about Tauntaun. <laughs> Someone lock us away. We forgot about Tauntaun. We forgot about Tauntaun. Um, uh, but like, I feel like she I would die for Tauntaun as well. Like, cause she has Tauntaun, but like slugs are her passion. So, so like yeah. the same thing my, uh, my abuela used to do with roosters. Yes, but like cuter. Cause yeah. Piggies. Perhaps. Do you, I also think roosters are kind of cute, but like you know how like pigs are just like a little more off the beaten trail to collect, and that kind of makes it a little cuter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's always cuter when it's a little weird, just like me. Um, <laughs> I think Alina, you opened up a great path there, though. That we we absolutely have to fucking talk about. Um, we need to talk about Tauntaun because I I love Tauntaun so much. We need to talk about how um, Tauntaun... Now, here's the thing, and I may use this to kind of segue into my own fact. And Alyssa, while I appreciate your fact about um, Tsunade being perfect, I will point out... Are you going... She has a gambling addiction and is an alcoholic, actively. And she's still perfect. No, I never said that she wasn't. Um, however, my fact about Tsunade is that she is a goddamn mess. Yeah, she's a goddamn mess. Are we all? And in that way, I I was gonna say, and in that way, I can relate to her. I, too, am in, uh, am in considerable amounts of debt. I mean, I, I, too, I'm not in debt, but I do also have a gambling problem. Luckily, I also have a big money anxiety issue, so it's not as bad as it could be. But like, I'm trying to remember if I'm in debt or not, and I've decided to not remember. Um, I don't think you're in debt. I'm pretty sure you paid off your school. No, no, you I paid off your 
Oh, that's I'm true. back in debt. I mean, you're fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Um, Wait, you're not in. You're not in Tsunade. No, I would never. I love Tsunade. I would never be in Tsunade. Oh, God, we both are making car payments now. Okay, we are not talking about real life things anymore. Fuck this. Um, We're not talking. About- <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. No, uh, the thing about like. I, I'm going to circle back to a pre-established canon we created in the last episode with the Jiraiya mm-hmm. and how the three Sanin, yeah. the three Sanin are a lot like, you know, those people in high school, you knew that we're all friends and like only one of them manages to scrape out an excusable existence. Yeah. Tsunade is that. And the fact that she is um, an alcoholic with a vast gambling addiction uh, in an incredible amount of debt, and she's still the most successful of her high school friends, says a lot about the, her high school friends. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I also kind of feel like it not only says a lot about her particular friends in the context of the three signing, but it also says a lot about like, this is the situation of the three Sanin, right? And they are like the top level ass kick ninja. <laughs> yeah, no, they're like the cream of the and fucking it's sort of like, crop. And they're still they're like the that. cream of the crop. One of them conducts unethical medical experiments on children. Another one writes porn for a living. And then the third one is in so deep a debt that like she could if that debt were converted back to her, she could buy out Walmart. <laughs> like <laughs> You know what the worst part about this is? Is that they didn't ask Tsunade first to be the Hokage. Yeah, they went and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna ask Jiraiya first. We're gonna uh, ask, like, wait, okay, the I'm sorry, they didn't actually night. ask Jiraiya first. Wasn't Jiraiya the uh, person they were gonna ask if Tsunade said no? No, they asked Jiraiya first because he was more accessible. I cannot fucking believe it. Yeah, because he was hanging around all the yeah. time. Now, um, so uh, it's bad enough that she wasn't the first choice, but also looking at it from her perspective, um, she'd hightailed it out of the Leaf Village and was living a perfectly nice little life on her own with her um, like little niece figure, um, Shizune, and uh, her little pet pig and her little uh, slug buddies. And um, they send the world's most irritating 11-year-old yeah. <laughs> to track her down. And ask her to be president. Yeah. Not even ask her, but like threaten her with physical violence if she did not agree to become I, president. I forgot that they legit sent Naruto to they find Naruto. Okay, Naruto. To be fair, Jiraiya was his chaperone, but that's hardly better than sending an 11 year old. That's honestly, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Okay. Now, think about it. Think about think, yes. think about the Leaf Villages being like high school. It kind of sucks. There's not really any adult supervision and everyone hates each other, right? You move out. You're there, you have your best friends, you have your pet pig, you have some slugs. Just oh, like we do that. now. Now. Yeah, that is now. actually my real life. No. Oh, God. Uh, now. See, relatable. Your hometown sends the weird dude who played saxophone and sat behind you for four years in the marching band. <laughs> <laughs> and the current like, section leader of the pit crew to come and drag your ass back because they're like, we want you to, you have to be mayor. Also, we're at a, we're going to be at war in about chess clock six months. We want you to know that this is actually my exact nightmare scenario. <laughs> like, it is, <laughs> it's literally, like, can you imagine? And, and even worse, like, I mean, she was kind of going from town to town because again, gambling addiction, alcoholism, lots of debt, people were chasing after her. Um, her options were essentially be tracked down by uh, people collecting on the loans that she had accumulated or um, become president of Leaf Ninja territory, which at the very least, she didn't have to pay back her debt. Exactly. She's like, well, I don't have to pay back my debt if I become president, right? Yeah. So the real question is, the real question is, would you take an incredibly stressful public office placement that you, one, are not qualified for, and two, do not want to perform if it meant that all of the current debt in your life would be erased. Um, I do oh, have to say... Because that's a hard that's choice. That's an exceedingly oh. hard choice. Alina? 
I think we need to get off this subject because you know who that sounds like? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know. I think you know. <laughs> oh my god. He okay, this is not named. It's okay, this one's going up in February. Are you okay? We guys, 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 we gotta get out of this fucking hole right now. <laughs> we, can't, get we, can't be here. we can't be here. <laughs> we just opened the door and there's a landmine in there just beeping away and we can open <laughs> We gotta go right, right now. I just want a surge of anxiety. <laughs> and I'm sorry that that was my brain that like set it off. No. But like No 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 no. Oh no, it's God. fine. It's funny, but it would have been funny like six months ago and now it's not Yeah, now it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God, that fucking ruined my vibe, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, So we were talking about how the Leaf Village is just high school and how that actually makes this existence my entire nightmare. Um, And here's the thing. Tsunade did that, and here's the thing. I have to go circle back and just praise her. Because the thing about Tsunade taking that position when she's not qualified and it's horrifically stressful and there's nobody else to do it is that um, mm -hmm. not to go like girl boss Twitter, but she did that. Like mm -hmm. she took that. She, on here's the thing. And she like did her fucking. She took job. it on, and here's the thing. Yeah, she was. Now I I I don't know all of Naruto history, but um, I would be willing to place um a small amount of money. On the argument that uh, she was probably one of the more effective Hokages that the Leaf Village ever had, oh, she and also, um, uh, she, uh, she hated every second of it. She did, and here's the thing: I feel like most people who are in public offices that do a good job do kind of hate every second of it because, like, they yeah. actually know how to do it. Um, and Tsunade is an example of that. Tsunade is an example of that. Kakashi is also an example of that. Oh my god, Konoha's just the world's biggest yeah, group project, and she's the like, only one who ever did it. Kakashi. Kakashi actually did some nice stuff as well, but he only did it because she... He also hated every second of it. He also like, hated every second of it. Oh my god, I forgot yeah. Kakashi became Hokage, that's for too. another episode. Oh god, he did. But that's for another episode. That's a scary okay. thought. Why did they make him Everyone Hokage? Everyone else died. And he did Everyone else Hokage, died. Next question. But I wanted to stress this so hard. Tsunade, like, Tsunade broke the seal on the metaphorical pickle jar there. Yeah, like... Um, anybody yeah. who was a Hokage after her owes her so fucking much because God, that woman did mm -hmm. a lot. Like, um, cause you, you look at the record for Hokages and you have, um, you have the first one and you know, it, I'm sure he did fine or whatever, but you know, it, it, was that Kobe Rama? Uh, no, that no, was, that was Hashirama. That was Hashirama, who Hashi is, um, Tsunade's grandpa. Yeah. Hashirama. Um, there was Hashirama, um, Tsunade's grandpa, and then there was Toby Rama, Hashirama's boyfriend, and then there was um, um, Alina, no, 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 Alina, no, no, no. Alina, 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 Alina. Don't say that, <laughs> Alina. They are Wait. they're brothers. Oh, Damn it! I'm thinking of Madara. You were thinking of Madara. He was never Madara Hokage. And Hashirama were boyfriends. Madara and Toby Rama yeah. hated each other because Toby Rama was Uchiha racist. <laughs> Wait, Toby is Toby Rama the Blue yeah, one? Toby Rama's the blue one. Okay, I know who he is now. I forgot momentarily that he fucking existed. Madara was never Hokage. Yeah, Madara was never Hokage. Like because we can't. We can't. He we was can't never get Hokage into because Toby Uchiha's Rama. Course, because this is actually discussing the political <laughs> theory of Naruto. Wait, yeah, and yeah, we're not here. Didn't Madara become Toby? No, uh, yes, but he can't be. No, he, he became. Wait, wait. Oh, I hate this. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. That was just Obito talking like he was. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, he was pretending to be Madara. Yes. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, he was pretending to be Madara. Um, 
Oh my God. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. If people are listening to this, I don't think they actually ever plan on listening to Naruto. I'm listening to Naruto. Uh, watching Naruto. Either that or they already have. Because I think we've done an awful job of pitching Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> um, or that, or we have actually made an awful job of pitching actually watching Naruto instead of just listening to us talk about Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so circling back, Alina has done a fact. Alyssa has done a fact. Have I? It's d- your turn. It's, it's my turn, and I have to consider all the Tsunade facts I know. Um, and not to be like unironic for two seconds, but you know what I think was the most wild shit Tsunade ever did. Tell us. You know that time that like she was fighting Kabuto. And she punched him in the face and then, like, reversed all of his nerve endings so they were backwards. Oh, my God. I think about that. I do remember that. (laughs) Because that was big sexy. (laughs) Like, imagine some lady who just whacks you in the fucking face. And then suddenly your left brain is your right brain and your right brain is your left brain. And all parts of your brain are the... uh, permanently encroaching death brain because she's about to kill you um she had kabuto moving like the little icon from the fucking quap game that everyone used to play in middle school like the, the like the little game where you have to make the person run but you can only you control each one of their limbs with the keys q w o p and it spells out quap, yeah, it's a quap. but like you have to make them run but they just end up flopping everywhere because it's very hard to control a little icon like yes. that um Hey, okay. okay, I'm gonna say something really mean. No, say it. Your experiences are not universal. Um, actually, Alyssa, that isn't mean. Both of us have played Quop, and you have not. Here's the thing I've so, never even played it, but I saw people play it. I have played Quop, and uh, it is actually one of the funniest games I've ever played in my life. Uh, not because it's like exceedingly quality or anything. It's funny in the sheer simplicity of watching a horse uh, malfunction is uh, funny so long as there are not consequences. <laughs> <laughs> because usually there's many consequences of a horse malfunctioning. Yes. I know yes. from experience. Uh-huh. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but here's the thing. I do have very fond memories of watching my friend play that in, uh, while I was in high school and we were like, laughing so hard I was almost incapacitated at my computer uh, and it was enjoyable uh, but anyway yeah like she just plays quap with your bones and I just think I really think that's cool in a woman I think she is super successful uh, can reverse your nerve endings has a really cute pig doesn't abandon orphans I mean like she's got it all huh? she's got it all. <laughs> yeah for a Naruto character, she she sails high above the, the very low bar of has only abandoned a few orphans, whereas she's hard, she's really not abandoned any. And then she should have lived. Yeah, I forgot she wait, died. Wait, did Sunata die? Wait, 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 wait. Who died? Sunata. Sunata died. Sunata doesn't die. Then why does Kakashi take over as Hokage? Because she's she old. She, she retired. She she's she tired. Retired. She's fine. She's still she's fine. Tsunade's alive. She's fine. I think she's still alive in Boruto, maybe. Yeah, she is. She okay. Is. Um, Alyssa, I want you to just describe to me how you assumed Tsunade died. I thought she got, like, really fucked up. Well, yeah, she got really fucked up. Yeah, she got up, real she fucked up, died. but, like, she's, yeah, she's, last I heard, she is fine. <laughs> I hope. I'm looking. Oh some... no! No, she's alive. I know she's alive. I'm looking. Um, with... Okay, so, like yeah, because with... there's a uh, several times where she should have died, which honestly I think that makes her even fucking cooler. Because there's the time where it was like right after Pain like destroyed the village, I believe, and she like pushed herself too far or something and ended up collapsing. Or did something happen to her? It was like I mean, where she she had to turn off her regeneration where like she actually looked her age as well, but they didn't show us. Out of respect. And then for there her. was a second time yeah, out of respect for her. There was the second time where she almost died. Um where Madara essentially blew her in half. 
uh, through the stomach. But uh, Orochimaru actually helped her out. And then after that, she was pretty okay. Like, she retired and Kakashi took over. And he spent his time building up the Konoha Public School District like he should have. Well, Alyssa, are you finding your facts satisfactory? Um, hang on. Oh, Tsunade is not dead. God damn it. Just go to the Naruto wiki and look. And see if it's I'm on the Naruto wiki. I don't see anything about status. Here's the thing. He's not Here's dead. the thing. Here's the thing. We're going to make this real easy. Gonna We're going to go on Google. It is We're going to go on Tsunade Google. Tsunade is Tsunade dead. Tsunade dead. Does Tsunade die in Naruto? But she never dies and also survives Madara's numerous Sasano attacks. She even makes an appearance in Naruto Gaiden, so she's alive in the Boruto universe. Also, she's made appearances in Boruto. Okay. She's fine. Yeah, she's fine. Don't worry. I, I appreciate your concern, but I, I absolutely promise you that Tsunade is perfectly fine. She's in good health, and I'm so happy for her. Now, we've thought about all these facts, but um, can't now, she hasn't died, but can Tsunade die? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Um, and I think, you know, immortality is a curse, and I don't think she would choose. I don't think uh, she would either. When it's her time. Now, and I don't want to get graphic, but I know that she's been keeping herself looking quite young. Do you think that when. Is it going to be like a, like a dust situation? You, 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 Alina. Do you ever think she skips her moisturization? Return? Okay. Now, but here's the thing. Sorry, return, now here eat routine. Now, but Sarah, you have posed, you've set her up for something so much worse than now. Imagine this. She dies. And it is like a sort of graceful turning to ash, which is kind of awful. But yes. like, at least it's like, you know, Mr. Star, I don't yeah, feel kind of, so you know, like just the little, just, oh, it's just, it's just on the winds. Now, but. What you're proposing is that she's too moist to do that, which means that it would be like a sloughing, and that's so much worse. Um, she, okay, circling back, <laughs> that's why her skin looks so good because of the snail. Oh my god, you're right. You're right. Like, I'm a come fool, on, man. Like, and also, like, not to get like technical because what you said was very funny. <laughs> But, like, her jutsu doesn't keep her alive, like, an unnaturally long time, if anything. Um, actually, because I learned a lot about this jutsu, because it interests me for reasons that you're both aware of, uh, her lifespan <laughs> is technically going to be um, a little shorter than it should have been, because every time she uses the, um, I can't remember what it's called right now, but it's the 100 healings, I believe. Oh, yeah. Um, it actually shortens her overall lifespan um, because her cell turnover mm -hmm. uh, increases. It's like the mitosis or something. Um, and so she's in, like her 60s, but she's probably not going to live to be like 90 or 100. Like she's shaved probably several years off her life. Um, and I don't really know if Naruto's ever going to address that. Anyway, I, I wouldn't trust them too. <laughs> Here's the thing. They're, like, I love Tsunade as she is. And I respect her aesthetic choices. But seeing as, like, they don't let her age like a I know. person anyway, I doubt they'll ever adjust. Yeah, I'm like, here's the thing. Um, I respect her choice uh, to um, keep herself looking young. However, uh, it would be buck wild if they let us uh, see a regularly appearing old woman in Naruto that wasn't just, like, she's here for an arc and then gone. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, Naruto has some sick old ladies, but I'm like, you know, but I think all those Naruto old ladies are in fact sick and they don't like... last very long. Yeah, like uh, looking at Chio. Granny Chio. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. Oh, I forgot about her. Hey, can she be our next episode? We're not going to be able to make any funny episodes because we're just going to talk about all the ladies we love so much in Naruto. Um,. And Lena, that's a fucking lie because Granny Chio is outright one of the funniest. You are right. Um, series. um, her two hobbies are fishing and acting like she's dead. To scare people. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think should be every grandma's hobby. Those are both very good. Okay, wait. Save the content for her episode. Yeah, I can't. I can't like totally go off the shits about Granny Chio because she's really cool. But um, she's another episode. I think she should be our next episode. That's true. And um, we should have a little interlude episode. I think it should be about her. I think we should. Yeah, I, that would be really lovely. Um, but yeah, I am actually trying to calculate how old um she should be. But 
so we're going to go um, on another rabbit hole to fill some time and uh, look at her trivia page on the naruto.fandom.com slash wiki slash Tsunade website. Um, hmm, let me see if she has any fun little facts. Did you know that her, she and Jiraiya and Orochimaru all somehow uh, share a blood type? That seems suspicious, and I feel like I feel like that might be Orochimaru's fault. I don't know how that happens between three people, but I think that that's Orochimaru's fault. You know, well, I'll be I... honest. As a military organization, that's actually not a bad idea. It's uh, not. I know it wasn't done purposefully, and I know the Naruto guy didn't think about this that hard. But if you were out in like you know, one of them is a trained medical professional. And if you are out in the field and somebody needs a blood transfusion, I mean, everybody in the squad is the same blood type, so you can all be donors to each other. Um, That's true. I can't believe that actually makes sense, but it's probably, once again, something that's not intended. Yeah. Um, let me now, see. What is blood type, though? Uh, I think, hold on, let me scroll to the top. I think she's a blood type B. Yeah, she's a blood type B. Uh, so Orochimaru and Jiraiya are both blood type Bs. Hmm. Yep. Um, which is funny because they're not universal donors. Um, I don't know a lot about blood types, but I know in O plus is a universal donor, unless I'm That's wrong. That's what I am. I could be wrong. Yep. O it might be. Actually, O in general, I think is a universal donor. It might be. I I I think you're probably right. Also, down in the trivia at the bottom, Tsunade is the only Hokage to live long enough to see two generations of successors take office. Wild. <laughs> Wild. It's almost like she kept her shit together. I love how she got the shit beaten out of her and was just like, you know what? I'm tired, y'all. I'm gonna take a fucking nap. She's Bye. like, I'm gonna do the responsible thing and retire before I fucking beef it. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Let's see. What is another cool Tsunade fact that I can find here? God, you know, I can't get started on stuff about Tsunade uh, that makes me mad. Because it's never anything that's her fault. It's the fault of people who, like, wrote her. <laughs> anyway. Um, because here's the thing. For the most part, she's done really, really well. And I think it's because she's a mature woman and she's kind of already had her character arc. And you're just kind of allowed to learn about her and uh, see her succeed. Mm -hmm. Which is something I think is very important because seeing Tsunade succeed is actually one of the most, uh, sorry, the most satisfying bits of character development that Naruto ever gives a woman. Mm -hmm. Even though they should have let her fight more, a lot more. Yeah. Because she has actually one of the most visually satisfying uh, fighting styles because Taijutsu is the coolest shit. Mm -hmm. Nobody can tell me Taijutsu isn't the coolest Taijutsu's shit. Taijutsu's fucking sick. Okay, I think that's the topic we need to talk about for a second, because I uh, legit forget what the three types are. So there's Taijutsu, Ninjutsu, and Genjutsu. Taijutsu, uh, taijutsu is, is physical. just martial yeah, arts. Yeah, that's what uh, Mike Guy and Rock Lee do, is Taijutsu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then Tsunade, I mean, technically, well, okay, there's also, like, medical Ninjutsu, but it's, like, a subtype of Ninjutsu. As far as combat um, goes. It's, yeah, it's as like, combat goes. Um, Tsunade, because of her modified strength and essentially not fighting with any kind of other jutsu, uh, she mostly does taijutsu because she's really fucking scary strong, and why wouldn't you just beat the shit out of things with your bare hands? Which is a character concept that I love. <laughs> dearly. Um, but yeah, because then there's ninjutsu, which is all the fancy elemental shit, uh, that everybody else tends to do the most, it's the most common in the series. And then there's Genjutsu, which is um, illusory jutsu. It's um, when you reach into the mind of your opponent and start manipulating their senses. So That's like what uh, does. Sharingan. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sharingan is weird because Sharingan gives you access to Genjutsu, but also there's like several secondary abilities that it can give you. Mm -hmm. it, Sharingan is like very weird because it does yeah. a lot of things. The, I, I could spend a whole yeah. episode talking about The stuff Sharingan. that special eyes give you is a little bit of a different ballpark, but what Itachi does is Genjutsu. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I just could never get this straight in my head. I was just like, okay. Yeah, I know uh -huh. you're good. Um, now, I, please ask me Naruto questions. Yeah. I'd love to fill in stuff with cool Naruto um, facts. This has been um, cool Naruto facts with Sarah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I know things. <laughs> Um, <laughs> now, 
something I have also pulled up uh, the <laughs> Zunetti trivia page, and I would like to point out that um, it is canon that uh, Tsunade wants to fight Naruto. <laughs> she wishes to fight Naruto. I think Baby child boy. <laughs> Which, honestly, same. I mean, look at him. Yeah. Like, because I think, like, she loves him. She has affection for him. She reminds him of her little brother. But she does really want to kick his ass. Because, I mean, look at him. Elena. Yeah. Hey, hey, Elena, does that sound familiar? I'm stupid. No. What are you referencing? <laughs> Sarah, do, do, do you know what I'm referencing? No, I don't know what you're referencing. Who do we always say is like Naruto? You? Yeah. Aww, I don't want to fight you. Fight you? Fire up, bitch! <laughs> oh, okay, I see how it is. This is exactly like that episode of Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I suddenly understand. Oh my god, Alyssa's exactly taking you back to be, <laughs> to be mayor. Oh my god. <laughs> She's kidnapping me. Ew, does that make me Jiraiya? I don't want to be Jiraiya. <laughs> no, Alina, you're Orochimaru. You're very slippery. This is true, but um, also, I'm a fool. Of course I am Katsuyu the slug. Who am I, who am I kidding? Alina, you want to wrap us up? So, overall, I feel like uh, what we've talked about here today has been less um, on the... It's been less on the hee hee funny side because there's there's so little criticism that we can, but also are willing to give <laughs> Tsunade. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I think I think what is most important about her character is that even though she's kind of a mess, um, she she tries so hard. <laughs> and even if she tries, she tries so hard, so hard um so far. And in the end, in the it end, doesn't matter. <laughs> she made a difference, <laughs> damn it. She didn't. She, she got a job that she never asked for, a job that she never wanted, but she came in and she did the best that she could given the circumstances. And you know what? I think that her presence is the only reason that the Leaf Village didn't completely fucking fall apart once everything fell to shit in Shippuden. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, you're absolutely fucking right. You're valid. Who was gonna, who gonna, was gonna fill those valid. shoes? Jiraiya? No. Who's gonna fill those shoes? His feet are too big. Apparently Kakashi and then Naruto. Um, hey, I just realized that none of you guys... Oh my god, I'm so fucking mad at y'all. I'm so really mad that you guys don't have the country music uh, fucking subconscious experience that you didn't realize what I was referencing. So we're just going to oh, no, 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 no. I that. think that you should go ahead and repeat yourself because I think that we'd all like to hear. Uh, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about who's going to sing the Opry. No, what? Um, th- you see, exactly. You don't no, know. I just don't understand what you're saying. Hang on. Yeah, the Opry. Do you know what the Opry the- is? The Grand Ole no. Opry. Yeah, exactly. You don't know what the Opry is. <laughs> oh, she's goose I laughing. Think I gotta go, fellas. <laughs> you don't even know what the Opry is. How can we even have this discussion? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize we had invited Orochimaru for the last 10 minutes of our show. Yeah, Orochimaru would go to the Grand Ole Opry. Isn't he? <laughs> you simply must he come to the shows. Opry. Tsunade Reba's going to be there. Sorry, uh, if anybody who actually listens to George Jones listens to this, which I doubt the people who uh, know they're, a lot listen, about George Jones and the people who the listen to the Venn Venn Di- really Listen, Venn if someone fits in the middle of the Venn diagram between listens to this shitty little podcast and also listens to George Jones, I feel like we deserve to meet them. Yeah, because it's who's going to fill their shoes. Exactly. Who's going to stand <laughs> that tall. <laughs> Who's gonna play the Opry <laughs> and the Wabash Cannonball? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> whoever, if there's one person who knows what the fuck I'm talking about, I'll be happy. Uh, th- this has been Till Death to Us <laughs> Join us next time for whatever the hell's in store, I guess. Lady Chio. Or Granny Chio. Lady Chio. Lady Chio. I'll see you next, see you next week. week. Till Death Do Us Snart is a 103 Ghouls production podcast. It is created and produced by three women who are completely off their rocks. Theme song is Drunk Punch Man by Bull Moose. 
Find it and other songs by Bull Moose on Spotify, iTunes, and Bandcamp. To support the show, consider donating to our Patreon, which can be found in the show notes. If you can't, believe me, we understand. Please consider subscribing to us on YouTube, sharing the link to the show, and above all, talking us up on social media. We really appreciate the support. Oh, and one more thing. Thanks for listening.